Hey guys, Michael here from MichaelSherlock.com. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about Microsoft Security Essentials. And Microsoft Security Essentials is a free antivirus, spyware, malware, all that jazz protection suite for the 50 to 60% of Windows users who actually don't have protection. Now again, like I said, this is a free option, but you do need to have a genuine version of Windows for it to be able to work. So that's just something to keep in mind. Now, let's look at the graphical user interface first. It's pretty simple, but it also is functional, and I do like the way it looks. First, you can see that you have this stuff in green, this text, real-time protection and virus and spyware definitions, as well as computer status protected. And that green just signifies, and it's just easy to look and say, oh, I am protected, everything's up to date. Now that will actually change to red if you decide to turn your protection off, or if, you're vir if the definitions are out of date, or if it actually detects an issue that you need to resolve, which I think is kind of nice just to have that color change so it's easy to recognize. Now going across, we have Home, Update, History, and Settings. Now if we go to Change My Scan Schedule, or just click Settings, you, you have a lot of choices and it's really nice because on one hand this is for the more basic user but if you want to expand and get more detailed in what you're doing you can easily go in here and change the settings for when you want to scan if you want to scan a quick scan or a full scan default actions your real-time protection settings what files and locations you want to exclude or even file types processes you want to exclude advanced settings so you can scan removable drives if you wanted to or create a restore point when you need to as well as Microsoft SpyNet options, which, if you didn't know, is an online community that helps you choose how to respond to potential threats. So the graphical user interface, again, is pretty simple but functional, and I do like the way Microsoft took care of this. Now this software is designed to be lightweight. For Windows XP machines, you only need a 500 MHz CPU and 1 GB of RAM for this to run. For Vista and 7, you need a 1 GHz CPU and again, one gigabyte of RAM, so it's really not that bad at all. Installation was pretty lightweight as well. The installer and even the final product, once it's installed on your computer, used less than 20 megabytes of space, which is really nice. When I was actually running the tests, of even a full scan, my CPU only went up between 5 and 10% at the max. So really, you're definitely not going to notice when this is running, especially if you have a more modern machine. If you have a less modern machine, an older one, Microsoft has actually implemented a few techniques to make it more lightweight and more transparent when you're protected. First and foremost, CPU throttling. So the system will remain responsive to user tasks even when a scan is running. So basically, if a scan is running, you manually choose scan now, and then you go to your browser and you want to view a YouTube video that takes some more system resources than you have available. Security Essentials will actually scale back, use less of your system resources, and you'll be able to go about your browsing or whatever the case may be. Idle time scanning. So scans and updates only happen when the PC is idle. So as you can see, your next scan says Sunday around 2 a.m. The reason why it says around is because let's say at 2 a.m. where I'm using the computer. Well then, the scan wouldn't happen just then because it wants to, again, be low priority and won't start a scan. Now let's say it starts at 2 a.m. and then at 2.05 I start using the machine again. Well, again, this will be on a low priority thread, so it'll scale back if it needs to, and the CPU will go ahead and choose higher priority things, such as browsing the web or if I'm working on a Word document, whatever the case may be. Finally, smart caching and active memory swapping. So virus signatures are not in use, that are not in use, are not loaded into memory. So unlike other applications, if the virus definitions, you don't need them, they won't be preloaded into memory, so you don't, you're not going to have you know, a lot of memory devoted to this one application when it only needs less than that to actually run. And also another way they made this more of a seamless application is the test is um, you'll only be alerted when action needs to be taken. So when it finds something, if it finds something that you need to worry about, it'll just go ahead and pop something up. Other than that, there won't be any pop-ups, you won't be harassed and it just makes it really easy and nice to know that you're not going to have to deal with constant you know, pop-ups from this application. So the GUI is pretty nice and it's a lightweight application, again using only 5 to 10 percent of system resources or CPU for me when I was testing at max. But what about detection? Now again this was intended for the 50 to 60 percent of users who don't have any protection so of course it's better than having your computer wide open and ready to be infiltrated. But it's only low to fair compared to other suites, particularly free ones such as AVG. Now basic users who run no protection, they're not looking for the best solution. 
previously they were using nothing. So they're not going to really understand and realize that this isn't the best thing for them. So that's why I think Microsoft really needs to do a better job with their detection algorithms, and in future updates, they need to improve their detection. Now, there are updates all the time, and this is only one of the early releases of Microsoft Security Essentials, but just keep in mind that at this point, it's not going to be the strongest thing in terms of protecting your machine. Now, whether that be real-time protection or actually removing stuff that does get installed is not going to be the best. Between 40 and 70 to 80 percent is what I found in my tests. So not everything is going to be detected, and then again, not everything is going to be uninstalled once it is detected. One thing I do like is Dynamic Signature Services, or DSS. Basically, when it detects a suspicious file and it doesn't have a virus signature downloaded for that file, it'll actually send the information to Microsoft's server. And once Microsoft has that information on their server, they'll check it against their server database to see if there is a new signature for it. So if there's not, then obviously there's nothing they can do. But if there is, it'll automatically send the information back down to your computer with directions on how to clean the issue. So basically, as soon as Microsoft becomes aware of a problem, they can just put it on their server, and Microsoft Security Essentials, if it ever detects an issue within a minute or two, depending on your internet connection, it'll have the new instructions on how to resolve that problem. So I do like DSS, but again, I think they need to improve their detection algorithms in the future. So overall, I'm going to go back to AVG for protecting my primary Windows machine. But if you're not using anything, definitely at least get Microsoft Security Essentials because you should be protecting your PC against viruses, malware, keyloggers, etc. I'm Michael Sherlock from michaelsherlock.com. I hope you've been enlightened about Microsoft Security Essential push. Thanks for watching, and have a good day.